Now, let's understand how to use use ID in the React application. Use ID is a hook for generating unique IDs that are stable across the server and client. We use use ID hook only for joining two HTML elements. To understand use ID, let me just show you a very simple example. I'm simply going to create a label and input text box inside this division tag. And then I'm going to specify HTML for yes to this label. And to this input text box, I'm going to specify ID yes. So the ID of both these elements are same. So whenever you try to click on this label, it's going to check this checkbox. Let me just save the changes and show you the result first. When I save the changes, I'm going to have here, do you like daily tuition? And here I'm going to have my checkbox. I can click on the checkbox directly or by clicking on this label, I can check this checkbox. You can notice. This is because we have the input checkbox ID to this HTML4 attribute. Now let's suppose that we have the same thing inside a component. So for example, let's suppose if I create here a function with checkbox name. Now this is a type of component. I'm going to specify here return statement and return a simple division tag and return a simple this label and this input checkbox, something like this. And then inside my app, right up here, I'm going to copy this checkbox just like this and save the changes. This will not do anything. This will work fine. But the problem comes in when you add another checkbox. So if you duplicate this component, save the changes, and you can see right now I have two input checkbox here. Let me reload the browser. And now when I click on this second label, it's going to check the first checkbox. This is the problem, right? I have to check my second checkbox when I click on the second label. This will happen because we have the same ID to both these input labels. You can see all the elements have the same IDs. So what we need to do is we have to specify the unique IDs to all these input elements to work this form properly. So now to solve this, we have this use ID hook. So at the top, I'm going to say import in the object. I'm going to import use ID from React. And right down here, I'm going to say constant ID is equal to use ID. That's it. This is a very simple syntax of this use ID hook. This ID is going to generate unique IDs inside this ID variable. You can specify any name to this variable that's upon you. And then you can pass this ID to these labels. So instead of this yes, I can now simply pass this ID, something like this. And as you know, I don't have this ID inside this component. So let me grab this and specify that inside this checkbox. Let me save the changes, reload the browser. And now when I click on the second label, it's going to check the second checkbox. And when I click on the first label, it's going to check the first checkbox. Now, if you try to console.log this ID, if I say here console.log ID on the console. So inside this ID, we have this unique value. So this use ID hook is going to return a string that includes the colon, string, and a colon. Keep in mind, this string is not supported in the CSS selector. User ID generate a string that includes the colon token. This helps you to ensure that the token is unique but not supported in the CSS selector. Just for that, let's suppose that you have multiple checkboxes. So for example, let's suppose inside this component, let me copy both this element and paste that right down here. We have these multiple components here. Now let me save the changes. And now when I click on this last checkbox, you can see we have the same problem again. If you open your console, then you can notice here we have only two unique values and we have four elements inside this form. To solve this, you can create another object, something like this with new value. So I'm going to create here ID one and specify that to this second elements. Save the changes. It will generate new IDs. So now this will work fine. You can notice. This will solve the problem, but this is not the best practice to solve the problem because when you have multiple input elements, you won't create multiple objects. Let's suppose in case you have more than one input text box. In that case, you have to create multiple instance of this use ID. So instead of doing this, you can pass suffix to the element with ID. So let me get rid of this, like this, right from here. Let me get rid of this console. And now instead of just ID, here I'm going to pass template string and pass here dollar. In the curly braces, I'm going to pass this ID, specify here hyphen and specify here name. So I'm going to specify my own value to this ID. I'm going to do the same right here. So I'm going to copy this and specify that right. And then I'm going to change this to email. So let's suppose that this label is for email. So I'm going to copy and specify here email. 
do the same for this input text box. Let me save the changes. And when I click on these labels, you can see it's going to work fine. So, this is the very simple use of this use ID hook in React. Next, we'll talk about the use sync external store hook in React application.